Hello and welcome back to the Old Gold and Black where we're celebrating a 1-0 win against promotion favourites Middlesbrough. A fantastic performance from number 1 to number 11 or 21 to 33. Lots and lots of very pleasing performances. In general, a great team performance. I think the formation that Nuno has set up is working so well. It's so solid and secure and it's going to lead to lots and lots of results like today's. I don't think we're going to be a particularly expansive and exciting team scoring three or four goals every game. We're going to be, like Arsenal were in the 90s, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0. But I can see us churning out a lot of those type of results as the season goes on. So in this video, I'm going to go through each of the players who's played today, except for Jordan Graham, who came on the last couple of minutes, did okay, ran the ball quite well, but I'm not going to talk about his performance too much. So to start off with, John Ruddy in goal, played quite well. He certainly earned his money today. A couple of big saves in the second half, and in the first half as well, came out and dealt with a long ball. He seems uh, to be a reliable pair of hands to me, and a good signing. Also, a couple of times that he came out and collected the ball from crosses in the second half, which really eased the pressure on the defence. The back three then, Cody, Miranda and Bolly, all had good games. Cody in particular, playing as a sort of sweeper, a bit deeper than the other two, was so vocal. He was the captain for the day as well today, and I would imagine that he'll be the captain long term going forward. I don't think Danny Bart is going to have much of a look in. And they were excellent, all three of them. Willie Bolly read the game very, very well. There were a lot of long balls that were played forward today by Middlesbrough, but... He was able to deal with them very, very well. There were a couple of times when he was standing still and the attacker was going towards the ball and it ended up going over the attacker's head and Bolly just knocked it away. He also had Britta Sombolonga in his po pocket who we were probably worrying about before the game but there was no problems from him at all. Miranda gave away a couple of silly and needless fouls in the first half, picking up a yellow card. Slightly better in the second half but there was a couple of times when he didn't look quite... Sh comfortable on the ball. I think the reason behind Miranda's exuberance in the first half was because I think you've been told, right, the championship is going to be tough, get stuck in. And he sort of overcompensated a little bit for that and in the end picked up a yellow card. The wing backs then, Doherty and Douglas, both play quite well, both look very, very dangerous getting forward and past the midfield and created a couple of chances, whipping that ball in. When we came under a little bit of pressure near the end of the game, there was a few questions that were raised in terms of their defensive ability. Douglas, I think, dealt with that a little bit better than Doherty. Then onto the midfield, Neves and Sice dominated the midfield for me. Neves, some of his passing was incredible today. There was a point in the second half when we were under a little bit of pressure. He won the ball back on the edge of our 18-yard box and pinged it across the pitch to Doherty, it level with their 18-yard box, and we eventually won a corner from that. And that, in the championship, to have somebody who can pass like that and get us out of trouble and create attacks is going to be a massive strength to our squad. And if we can keep him fit, if we can keep hold of him, and if he can play well, I think he's going to be a major, major part of this season. He did miss a chance in the first half where the ball was laid off to him in the edge of the box. He didn't quite catch hold of it and it, it went wide. Sice, I thought, played quite well. Won the ball back regularly and used it wisely. A couple of misplaced passes in the second half, but overall, very, very good. The golfing class between the new signings and the old players was made very, very evident when Edwards came on. I love Dave Edwards more than anybody. I think he's probably my favourite player over the last 10 years or so, just because of how hard he tries. But now, when there's players like Neves and Sice who can just stroke the ball around the place easily like that, effort isn't as good as quality. Now for the wingers, Jota I thought had a fairly good game. A couple of really good runs where he beat two or three players and got up to the halfway line. Perhaps he was the only player I felt that was a little bit muscled out today. He's a very small player, very skillful player, but I think playing against some of these big ugly centre-backs that you're going to find in the Championship, he's going to have to toughen up a little bit. And on the other wing today was Bright Enabakari. Now I think Bright is a great prospect for Wolves. He's got very high recommendations from the academy and I just think he's lacking a little bit of confidence at the moment. He's still waiting to get that first senior goal. The longer that wait goes on, the harder it's going to get for him. We saw in the documentary last night, working with Wolves, that Cody was saying to him, just shoot, just shoot, you'll have more goals eventually. A couple of times today where he could have had a shot, but he didn't. It was a couple of, he's very good at beating a player and winning the ball and keeping hold of the ball. But it's just he's lacking something at the moment, and I think it's a bit of confidence. As soon as he gets one, I think he, the floodgates will open and he start strutting around. I can see him being that type of player. And then onto the striker that started the game, Bonatini, who scored the winning goal after 32 minutes. A good finish, a calm finish, mistake from the Middlesbrough defender, 
passed straight into the path of Bonatini at the edge of the 18-yard box, calmly picked his spot, put his foot through it and scored. So that's his first game for a, quite a long time as well. So hopefully, once he starts to get into the rhythm of things, he'll be a good signing. There were some real good signs from him, a couple of good touches where he brought in Neves and other players into the attacks as well. So that's that was really good to see. Dicko then came on after about an hour and played quite well. Obviously more used to the championship, more used to the physicality of the centre-backs and putting his body up against them and things like that and getting stuck in. And what came across to me most of all, more than anything, was that every player on that pitch today looked comfortable and confident on the ball. I think at the end of last season, we saw lots of players not want the ball and... I remember a particular moment, I can't remember which game it was, but Jack Price had the ball in the middle of the pitch and nobody was looking at him, nobody wanted the ball. They were all sort of looking out the corner of their eyes. Everybody now was calling for the ball, coming short for it, giving them options, and that's exactly what a good team needs. The formation is settled, also a first eleven is settled before the season's even properly started. It will be interesting to see now when Costa and Cavaliero come back, how that affects the team. Jota, I think, is going to have to start... Putting in some performances. Not that he didn't. Not that he played badly today, but I think he's going to have to really show himself because Costa, of course, has built up his reputation last year, and when he's fit, who's going to be the first name on that in that position? Let me know what you thought of the game. If you went today or if you listened to it on the radio, let me know what you think. It was a very very fitting tribute at the beginning of the game to Carla Kimi. It was a little clip as well played on the big screens from him thanking all the fans for their support. A lovely display as well by the South Bank for him. So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the links in the description as well about the bone marrow donation, blood donation, and also the Football Fantasy League, which starts on the 11th of August. You've only got a few more days to sign up for that. Lots of you already have. Make sure that you sign up for that as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.